On today's episode of KBB, learn how to create a social media buzz around your business. Meet the man behind the brand at retailer MJ Bale and tips for success from mattresses delivered with a twist, Koala. G'day and welcome back to another jam-packed episode of Koshy's Business Builders. We just love what we do and it seems you're the same. A recent report I read found there was an increase in younger Australians visiting the Seek business site, researching small business opportunities. Now, business buyers have increased by 25% over the past three years and inquiries to business sellers is up 70%. Just goes to show that more and more people want to be their own boss. So to help inspire you to make the move and give you some practical tips along the way, we've got some amazing businesses on today's show. We meet the very stylish Matt Jensen from MJ Bale, who makes me sort of feel a bit underdressed, I must say. Uh, and we have some fun tips from Koala, the mattress in a stand-up box, people. Quirky, but very valuable. I almost get stumped answering one of your business questions and we get another great tech tip from Val Quinn. But before that, let's catch up with an amazing business, Sydney Smash Cakes, which is getting some great marketing tips on creating a buzz around their brand. Let me tell you, Smash Cakes is exactly what it sounds like. So enjoy. Sydney Smash Cakes was born in Claudia Abraham's kitchen seven years ago, when her then five-year-old wanted something different for a birthday party. I'm in the process of making a smash cake and I'd love to show you how it's done, how I put it all together. The 43-year-old graphic designer realised she was onto something special and launched the business officially just over a year ago. They're called Smash Cakes because you literally smash it. So I guess it's got a two parts. You smash it and then you eat it and then you smash what you're eating because there's nothing left. Although she's grown the business organically, Claudia wants to take Sydney Smash Cakes to the next level by generating more of a buzz. Well, yeah, everyone generally crowds around a birthday cake, so yeah. they crowd around your smash cake. And if they haven't seen a smash cake before and all of a sudden they see you smashing your birthday cake, the reaction is priceless. That makes me think of the fact that you should have lots of photos of the faces of yeah. people when reactions. they reactions <laughs> yeah. on the front of the website. Because yeah. it's not just a cake, is it? It's actually a whole experience. It is, it's a whole experience. Yeah. And apart from photographing happy customers, another way to create a buzz is by focusing on your personal brand. What about you and your personal brand, Claudia? Because I found it difficult to find out about you on the website. Yes, I kind of kept my smash cakes about the smash cakes, not necessarily about me. My background is graphic design, so I've always been creative, I've always been into art. And I've had a few exhibitions of my paintings and now I'm kind of channeling my artistic into my cakes, which I'm just loving. Look, I think that's a really great story. I think you could pop that up on the website. I actually love the idea that I'm buying from someone I can get to know. When you talk about personal brand, um, are you talking about me as a person or are you talking about Sydney Smash Cakes as a company? The answer is both. So in business, what happens is people buy people. So we buy the person behind the brand yeah. and then we buy the brand because we trust you and we know that you're always going to give us a beautiful cake. So what we want is to associate you with the brand and make sure that the two of you get out there, which differentiates you against any of your competitors or potential competition. OK, so that makes sense. The other way we can get you out there is to create partnerships with influencers and partnerships with people doing similar things to you or where you would actually put the cake. So party entertainers, venue hire companies, venues, uh, caterers, um, celebrity chefs. Yeah. Uh, is, is making a list of all those sorts of people on a database. Excel spreadsheet is fine. And then targeting them by either sending them your sales kit or a cake. Okay. So they get a chance to experience your product. Yeah. We'll be back later to get more publicity tips from Sharon. But now, let's hear some news you can use. According to a July 2016 NAB economics report, 
almost one in two business owners started their business with less than $5,000. So depending on the type of business you choose, getting an idea off the ground might not be as expensive as you think. Whether you self-finance, get a business loan, or choose equipment finance, choosing the best backing for your situation and needs is crucial. This is where forecasts may come in handy. By preparing best and worst case cash flow scenarios, and identifying the cause of any shortfalls. Equipment finance, for example, can include a loan, higher purchase or lease agreement and can help businesses free up cash for future growth. Repayments can be aligned to suit your cash flow and you might even be able to claim tax deductions. Based on the NAB report, business planning and banking support are most commonly cited as critical to turn an idea into reality. So to help make that happen, find out more at nab.com.au slash smallbusiness. After the break, we find out how the son of a wool grower created a multi-million dollar clothing brand. You'll never guess how much revenue MJ Bale is on track to generate this year. Place your guesses now and find out after the break. MJ Bale really is a business to behold. It looks like they've found the perfect balance between classic tailoring and great innovation. The Sydney suit maker was the first in the world to create a suit with a smart payment chip built into the sleeve. No more credit cards, just hold out your arm and tap. Now, most of our major sporting teams are decked out in MJ Bale clobber. It is amazing stuff. Founder Matt Jensen tells us about the inspiration and authenticity behind his business. Let's get into it. Innovation comes from being joyful and playful. And in a business, hopefully you're out there and doing what you love. We, we love what we do. And, and part of that is creating new products because that brings us joy. And that's where the innovation comes from. I was always the guy tinkering around with uniforms for, for my rugby team back in university days. And, and so for me, it was a bit of a hobby and interest. And, and I, as a, as a son of a wool grower, uh, I came to combine the two ideas of making clothes and using great natural fibres such as wool or cotton or silk to, to create those clothes and that's the genesis of MJ Bell. So we started in 2009 and we put our first store into Queen Street Wallara. Um, we're working with the Australian cricket team and we're uniforming some of the, the, the best sporting teams around the country. Uh, and one store became two, became six, became 12, and it's rolled on since then. Now we're at uh, 52 stores, we've got over 300 staff, and you know, revenue's around 60 million this year. And uh, it's, it's been quite a ride over the last eight years, but certainly an enjoyable one. We like to build authentic products. Uh, and I think it's really key that, that you know, we, we are making garments that have character in them. Character is everything in product. It's got to have the touch, it's got to have the feel from the fibre through the cloth and then how a garment is constructed and, and how it sits and feels on your body and that, that's the great thing. So as a son of a wool grower and, and my, my father, I, I saw the time and effort that he put into uh, farming and it's not easy. And I have great respect for the, the wool growers of, of the country and farmers of that, in the country. That hard work ethic and that idea of having to, to invest in something is, is something that really uh, resonated with me from a very young age. Our ambition is to be global, to be a, an Australian company grounded in, uh, grounded in great values, but global. So living your brand is, is really key. And, and I think there's an, there needs to be an honesty and a truth in, in brands. So I think it's really key for anyone who's a founder or somebody starting up. I mean, Hopefully they've done what they wanted to do. That's the authenticity, isn't it, of, of living your brand. So without it, it's impossible to be in business. Our brand values haven't actually changed since the beginning. Uh, authenticity and character were, were what we believed in from the beginning. We, we, we live them on a daily basis, um, not just through the products we create, but through the, the, 
the values we have in our, in our company and that honesty and integrity, uh, whether it's on the product side, the branding side or the people side, that, that's everything. If you are focused on those really simple old fashioned things, brand, product, service and people. And if you are really good at those simple things, and it's not easy, that's, that's a, there's a lot of challenge in doing that, but it all boils down to those, those four key factors. And, and it's about the execution of working with great people. We've got fantastic people in our business. Um, always, always keeping your eye on your product. That's the, that is paramount. And I think if you've got those two factors, that feeds into what you are as a brand and, and that creates a lasting impression with the consumer. So, I mean, I feel super uh, fortunate to be doing this job because it's, it, it's absolutely what I love. It's what I'm passionate about. I love it when I see a man walking down the street in something that we uh, created a couple of years ago. That probably is the number one thing where you see somebody who is uh, buying into, literally, and, and invested into what you've created and it's part of their life. And, and when they enjoy that, that's, that's the best. Coming up, we get back to Sydney Smash Cakes, getting some social media marketing and PR tips from Sharon Williams. Will a cake be smashed open? You'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, check out our website at koshysbusinessbuilders.com.au. Have you signed up to Small Business First? It's the new online community getting you great deals, helping you save time and have a say in your future. Join thousands of other small business owners for free at smallbusinessfirst.com.au. Earlier in the show, we heard from Claudia Abraham, founder of the delicious Sydney Smash Cakes. We asked Sharon Williams to talk to her about creating a social media buzz to take her business to the next level. Let's get back into it. Lovely, so if you're gonna do PR, then what we need to do is get um, your personal brand out there and also look at a whole range of public relations. So that would be going out to perhaps pop-up stores, school fates, partnering with other companies. So, I mean, even smash repair companies. Yeah. Or, or I saw that um, there were some party planners there that you could work with. So partnering with other companies will really help you build the brand. One of the things I wanted to talk to you about was the delivery of the cakes. Now, they can't be easy to deliver. No, obviously they're very fragile. So I do use a courier company and we use a VIP service. So the cakes are treated well and treated as fragile. And I haven't yet had one that's broken. Good, that's, that's <laughs> super, that's smashing. Yes. Um, now, one of the things that we could do though, is we could do that traditional, would you like fries with that? So rather than getting your couriers to, to deliver them, how about getting couriers in branded t-shirts? Yeah, that's a great so idea. smash cakes. Yep. And when they go in, they actually make a little bit of an event of delivering the cake. Maybe they have plates, maybe they have serviettes. Maybe they have a rolling pin. Maybe they <laughs> have a rolling pin. What we can do is actually build the experience beyond the cake. Yeah, okay, that's an so awesome idea. it starts idea. right from the beginning. So can you imagine a kid's party, someone turning up at the door and Mr. Sydney Smash Cakes delivers, <laughs> or Miss, and they've got their T-shirts on and it's a whole experience. Yeah, that's a great idea. And it's just about time to tuck into some smash cake. Ready? Oh, and again, oh smash it up. Oh, really? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> it's nothing like an interactive cake and a bit of fun. Didn't that cake look amazing and so satisfying to actually smash? Sharon Williams shared some great tips today. Putting your own personal story behind your brand is critical. Creating partnerships with influencers or related businesses can also help spread the word. And then don't forget about what you can add to the delivery of products so customers get a great experience alongside your products. Hi, my name's Dan Millam and I'm one of the founders of Koala. Today, I'm gonna to give you three successful business tips to help you with your business. Tip one, 
be customer centric. We're Australia's highest and most rated mattress company for a reason. We put all our effort into our customers and improving our customer journey every day. Tip two, measure everything. If you want to be a data-driven organisation, you really have to put the effort in to make sure you're measuring metrics for every single department and tying it back to individual KPIs. If you're not doing this, you won't know where the issues lie, be able to learn from your mistakes, or continually improve that department. Tip three, try everything and fail fast. There's an age-old saying that you miss every shot you don't take. And although it's quite cheesy, it's critical for young businesses who are trying to innovate and be on top of the pack. If you're not trying something new every day, your competition probably are and they probably discovered it yesterday. Hope that helps today. Good luck with your businesses. Coming up, I answer a viewer's business question and we all learn another handy tech tip. If you haven't done so already, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash koshiesbiz. Back soon. Thank you all for watching today. How good was Matt Jensen who said that focusing on four simple things, brand, product, people and service is what business is all about. Now, be sure to catch up on any segments you've missed on koshiesbiz.com.au. Before you go, we've still got a bit of time to squeeze in some more business advice. I answer one of your questions. And right now, Val Quinn is here with another tech tip. The survival of any business relies on customer communication. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management, and a CRM system can enhance customer experience and streamline your customer care process by providing a single location for all customer data. The best known CRM solution is Salesforce. Now this is an all-in-one cloud-based solution that has everything you need for finding and keeping customers, closing sales, and growing your business. A lower cost platform like Insightly is good for micro businesses. There's a free version to get you started, and as you scale, you can upgrade to an affordable plan starting from $12 a month. Now, it comes with all the time saving CRM capabilities a micro business requires, such as contact management, project management, opportunity management, and detailed sales reports. It's time for Ask Koshi now, and today's video question was sent to us from Miranda Mitchell. Let's take a look. Hi, Koshi. My name's Miranda Mitchell, and I have a company called Positive Property Results. I'm a mortgage broker, and my question for you today um, is around uh, finding referral partners that we can refer business to. So finding um, really great businesses that we can refer our clients to. Um, being a mortgage broker, we're looking to connect with accountants, financial planners, um, solicitors, and things like that. Would love to know your opinion. Miranda, thanks for sending in your question, and it's a great one. Looking for complementary businesses that have a similar client base, and in real estate there are plenty, it's a really clever tactic. You mentioned mortgage brokers, accountants, financial planners and solicitors. It's a great idea to refer business to each other and create strategic alliances because the best way to get referrals is to give referrals. So go to the effort of connecting with others for business opportunities. This could mean attending industry events, conferences, and local networking opportunities. You already have a business network. So do all your staff, no matter how small. And you should always be looking to increase it. You could host a small, informal get-together with industry-specific businesses in your area. You'd be surprised at how many other business owners might appreciate it. But if the idea of jumping straight into networking is a little bit out of your comfort zone, the Business Networking Academy runs online courses short courses, and even lunch and learn sessions to help make sure you're getting the most out of it. There's also your local business enterprise centre and networking specific groups such as the Australian Business Women's Network and Business Chicks to help you meet fellow business owners. Then when it comes to everyday client interactions, pay attention to pain points they mention. If a client mentions they're having difficulty finding a great solicitor, that's the perfect cue to jump in with your referral. It's a much more organic process compared with recommending a solicitor straight off the bat. 
Giving and getting referrals is a great way to ensure your shared clients get the best service possible. Everyone does a great job when you all know the other parties involved. And while it's great to share the love and give plenty of referrals to other businesses, it's a solid strategy to grow your business by encouraging referrals and recommendations too. It's low cost, it connects you with your ideal customer, gives a great conversion and gives you access to more loyal customers. Just make sure the people you're referring are terrific, will do a good job. Because if your customer is unhappy with that referral, they're gonna blame you. Well, that's all we have time for today. Stay up to date with the latest small business news, tips and tools at koshisbusinessbuilders.com.au. Catch you next time. Coming up next, find out how a coffee business is re-engineering itself for growth, why business is blooming for beautiful florist Alexandra, and get great business tips from outsourcing giant Airtasker. Hey, thanks for dropping by the KBB YouTube channel. If you want a whole lot more where this came from, press the subscribe button and it will open a Pandora's box of great videos that not only are educational, full of great advice, but also really inspiring. Just what we need as small business owners.